Aha, a man. Yes, it really let me hurry them. Oh, sorry. What? S say that again? <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes. Today, we're off to America. Um, because we, uh, we've tracked the cult, um, over to the States where the, um, the Edelweiss Institute was basically a, a human trafficking operation um, that was also to do with sort of selling gems. So we've traveled to the States. Um, I can only imagine that there's a man in London going, where is that Sherlock Holmes? And why hasn't he found me my manservant, Kimmy here? But frankly, we've got bigger fish to fry. Um, last week took a bit of a turn when we, um, we let a lady out of her um, cell in the Institute and then she killed the rather corrupt um, uh, uh, professor at, at running the institute with a pencil. Baba Yaga. Uh, so that was fun. Anyway, let's see let's see what's up. What's up. Oh, that's right. We're in New Orleans at the Harbour Master's port specifically. Uh, let's see. The banking house. Yes, that's right. Pieces of evidence are leading to New Orleans. It seems that the kidnappers are using the services of the banking house of E.W. Gray to sell gems. So we'll pin that and then let's go find the banking house. Let's ask this fine fellow. Help me please. <laughs> You're a lucky man. I know about this. Yes. The bank can be found on the street up from the port on the left side of the Harbour Master building opposite Chinatown. All of those words make sense but I, having read that once that's not that's not gone in at all. The bank can be found on the street up from the port on the left side of the Harbour Master building, opposite Chinatown. Okay. Right, so it's this up this street here. Oh, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where's Watson? Where's Dr. Dr. Watson? Um, did I send him on some sort of errand? Right. So I believe it's this street. Harbour Master's office. So the street to the left, opposite Chinatown. Let's find out, shall we? This all feels quite Bioshock Infinite, actually. It's the sort of the the quality of the light and the hunses and the sort of empty streets. Right, well that's Chinatown, and that is most definitely the banking house of E. W. Gray. That's a man with a gun. So we're off to a, a promising start. Seems like a welcoming old place. I guess banking houses did need security in those days. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Yes. Auction's about to start. Okay. That's... I wasn't expecting that. Squints. Myopia. Ah, he's short-sighted. Which means that he ought to be able to see me just fine. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. What's he got here? Wait, there was definitely... Hidden tabloid newspaper. Abe Lincoln alive. Okay. What's this? Something in the pocket? A sandwich. The guard at the bank is a real character. Storing a sandwich in his pocket to save time while reading Abe Lincoln alive makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Myopia is a result of constant reading to the detriment of one's health. Or... The sandwich at the guard is a real character. Storage, storing a sandwich in his pocket while reading Abe Lincoln Alive makes the guard a paranoid fool with bad taste. Besides, the man has myopia. Besides, the man has myopia is not very kind, Holmes. That's not a nice thing to say. I have myopia. Just means you're short fucking sighted. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to say he's a critical thinker. Just, just on the basis of him being a dick. It's like there's no, there's no substance to this. There's no structure. It's just, well, he's got a sandwich in his pocket and he's reading that, so he's a paranoid fool with bad taste. Actually, this I will take. I don't, I don't care if I'm wrong. The guard at the bank is a real character. Storing a sandwich in his pocket to save time while reading Abe Lincoln Alive makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Myopia is a result of constant reading to the detriment of one's health. 
Do I say I'm Frank Barnaby or do I fess up and say I'm Sherlock Holmes? My na no, fuck it. My name is Sherlock Holmes. You have me mistaken, sir. My name... If you ain't Frank Barnaby, you ain't coming in. Ah. Listen, the fate of many lives is at stake. I'm sure it is. So, not going to let me in then? No name, no invitation, no entry. Well, I should have just lied, shouldn't I? Move along, mister. Ain't nothing here for you. Hmm, maybe he is just a paranoid fool. Holmes! Over here! Fucking hell! Where did you come from? Okay, I've, I've chosen poorly so far this episode, but there we go. Yes, I can see you. Any luck? No. None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Right, right then, Mr. Frank Barnaby. Pin evidence. Let's go talk to some people. Hello, man leaning up against the thing. To whom I may not speak, apparently. Help me, please. I'm bothered and tired, but yes, I'll help you. <gasps> Amazing. He owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden. Barnaby's Hidden Gems? Well, I'm glad we didn't lie and get straight in there. I bet oh, marvelous homes, a city within a city. You sound like Indeed. a yokel. Those lanterns are It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. All right, steady on. <laughs> like we're all fond of Chinatown. Although, why did they knock down the little pagoda in in the the Chinatown in London? That thing used to be great. It was a useful meeting point. Now it's gone. Anyway. Where's Barnaby's hidden gems then? That's a casino. Let's May ask. I ask you something? What makes you think I can be of any help? Alright. Fuck yourself then. Oh look a boyd. Um bakery. Oops. Um, Blackwood. What's this? Barnaby's hidden gems. Delightful. Locked. No one's here. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Hmm. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. What? Whoa. Hello, sirs. What? Could you help me? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Okay. Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money. He is a known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at a local bar called the Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. He can be recognized by a yellow hat and green jacket. But how am I to recognize him? Ha ha ha. Sensible chuckle. All right. The Creole Quarter. I suppose should we try that that away? Let's try and find the Creole Quarter. Hello, sir. Nope, can't talk to you apparently. Hmm. Giddy Gator Bar. Oh, we're hot on the trail. This place is a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. The more you know. Eldritch signs. We must tread carefully, Watson. Some sort of ancient snail. Oh. The Giddy Gator Bar. Well, is the Giddy Gator Bar sort of a... Yes, yes. Ah, oh, this will be him then. Well, I think it's disguise time. Mm. 
<coughs> bleh, bleh. Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Oh, horrible. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Uh-oh. Oh, great, so I look like a haggard alcoholic. Yes. Um, <coughs> Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. One more unacceptable incident and we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Eureka! Fantastic. What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Must we? What if he had a new suit that was cl even cleaner? Holmes! What? Watson. Time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. All right. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. All right. <laughs> I, do, I do look a little bit odd. I look like I'm here to sell everybody Sprite. Anyway, back we go to the auction house, which, of course, I remember the location of. It's um, it's just uh, oh, it's it literally is up there. Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, let's go to the Harbour Master's office and go from there, shall we? May as well. All right. I suspect if I hadn't told the truth, he would have actually spotted that I'm not indeed Frank Barnaby. So this has worked out all Here's right. The money, Barnaby. Uh oh! Run away! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, it'd be dreadful if I'll I got my here, knees broken. So as not to arouse suspicion. Sure thing. Sherlock Holmes. Hello. Good day. Mr. Barnaby. Correct. Uh, right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. And I'm English now. Uh, come on in. Sure, partner. Ooh, fancy. Heavens, I've never seen gems so big. Jesus, I they're so black it's them. like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Uh-oh, hypnotic, absorbing light. That sounds... Lovecraftian. Black opal, origin Australia, weight 40 carats. Rarest stone, believed to be a piece of a... Ah, shattered space rock that fell to Earth. Yes. That, that in, in my limited experience with... Um, Lovecraft works is quite eldritch. What have we got here? More, more of it. Okay, all right, fine. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It isn't possible for me to help you. I'm sorry. That's all right. Shouldn't really have asked. Oh, well, what have we got? Okay, the banking house. The black opals are in the bank. Mr. Frank Barnaby. That's not worth. Da, da, da. Bank card. Okay. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. All right. Maybe we can just sneak back here. No pass. All right. What do we What do we do here exactly? May I ask for your assistance? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. I probably shouldn't be there being like, hello, I've got this trail of evidence leading to this banking house, should I? Oh, look. Who is the jewel seller A? Fuck if I know. I have no idea. Well, let's try and get more data then. Hey, there must be some ah, other things to look at. The banking house of E.W. Gray will be holding a closed auction of black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rare stones. However, the bank clerk, Miss Is Zoe Clemens, has confirmed the authenticity of each stone. Very well. What else can we look at? 
just, just a stack of money there. Shoddy bank accounts, if you ask me. I really hope these are people from the dev team. Andreas Larson, Luke Bukowski. Ah, yes, you can just ping, can't you? Ooh, what's that over there? Hello. This might be useful. I'll make a note. Please do. The banking house of E.W. Gray thanks its fine philanthropists. H. Armitage, Dillard, E. Arneson, French Quarter, J. Atkinson, St. Thomas, R. Carter, French Quarter, B. Chambers, Michaud, S. Clemens, St. Thomas, G. Engel, Fillimore, a. M. M. Hartnett, Faubourg Marigny, and J. Howlett, Lakeview. So Mr. A could be E. Arneson or J. Atkinson, potentially, as a philanthropist. Two evidence updated. Okay. Maybe I should be talking to people about this. Because this is... This has the conversation thing. Interesting. Let's have that A. Flack with philanthropists. That certainly seems like a bit of it. What does the invitation to the auction say? Invitation to the auction. Ah, oh, there's no... There's no, um, signature. Oh, why don't we pin plaque with philanthropists and ask about them? To ah, hello, madam. Morning, sir, and <laughs> welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Yay. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. <laughs> I do have some questions, if you don't mind. About the previous owner. Forgive my curiosity, but... Who was the previous owner? Smooth. Sir, so smooth. I ain't so smooth. To disclose them so details. smooth. What special... <laughs> These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. And, uh, and who, uh, who was the previous owner again? Sorry. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were better. illegally procured. That's better. What? We would never... I can assure what? you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist, no less. Mm -hmm. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Uh oh, oh uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity. Ha. <laughs> What have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Observe, observe him, observe him. All right. Uh, the sheriff. Uh, decorated. Golden revolver champ, proud old poser. Large wool hat. Oversized. Uh-oh. We're about to engage in a bit of phrenology. Polished nails. Fashionable or hates getting dirty. I should just be sick on him. Luxurious textile. Cares for his appearance. Sheriff Grubb is the law in New Orleans. He is fairly eccentric, looking after his nails, appearance and image. However, it is just a cover of his true nature as a remorseless and highly powerful individual in the local community who uses his image to distract and disguise his true nature. Or, Sheriff Grubb is actually a barking, toothless dog. The man make, attempts to make the impression that he is an important figure in the life of New Orleans. However, he is just a small cog in the governmental machine. In fact, the sheriff feels so uncomfortable and displeased with his role that he tries to compensate with ridiculous tournaments, fashionable looks, and threatening behaviour. I reckon it's that one. I'll be honest with you. I think it's that. That medal just seems silly. Sorry, Sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. 
If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Y yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you, uh -oh. there's the matter of your outstanding fines. Uh -oh. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. Ooh. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels round these parts. Feed them to the gators. This guy's in the so, dumb dumb. Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. We just got extorted. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. I might have got the wrong measure of him, to be honest. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. Oh, I got absolutely fucking played. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Oh no. So the bank lady's gone behind there. Oh, we can talk to her. Mr. Barnaby, were you wanting to submit a bid? No, no, I've got no money. None of these people are any help. We obviously don't want to buy these things. We can't get past I think it might be time to piss off. I think the sheriff wants us to piss off anyway. Yikes. Hello, Sherlock Holmes. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. <laughs> the sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah. All that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. Fair. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. Okie dokie. Well, let's just do we'll a little fast travel, won't we? Get him back quicker, that'll be nice. Boop, boop. Ue le bateau. Ah, set up. Which bateau is it, actually? It's this one. Got to be this one. It's a nice one. It's a nice bateau. Hello, madam. Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Welcome home. Oh, fuck. No, I don't think it is this one. It, heavens, I don't think it is this boat. Crikey. Scandalized. Is it this boat? Let's have a look. Well, no, we can't get on this boat. Staff only. I don't know which one's my boat. Alright, well, let's go back onto the nymph then. I had no idea we were staying on such a... Such an intriguing vessel. Hello, I'm Mr. Barnaby. Rooms available, I bet they are. May I ask you something? No, I've never heard of it, but I can help you with something else. I think she means sex. I think she's offering me what we in the business refer to as a good time. Right, well. Rooms available, but is is any of these my room? You know, I think the look actually compliments you. Why bother changing Fuck it? Fuck off. <laughs> Leave me alone, Holmes. Okay, which one's our boat, though? Seriously. Are we... St Is this our boat? I'm surprised that we're staying on the nymph. Oh, bollocks, now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. What? It was like what? the luggage had legs of its own. 
Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. Oh, God. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, Whoops. we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. Uh -oh. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit. My name. Or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. <laughs> Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. Aww. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Oh, now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Oh, nymph. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. <laughs> Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Oh, oh yes, that is our legacy. Go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. It was fun hearing him say bollocks, wasn't it? Oh, bollocks. Oh, our clothes are in the blimmin' water. <laughs> Okie dokie. Which one's room six? Room one. Room two. Room six. Lovely. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. Mm? As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Mm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. Heavens. Lucy's a, a treat. I knew the clothes would fit, but I didn't know how well they'd suit. Oofed! You know the number of men who come in here desperate to save me, as if I weren't perfectly happy already? Life is short, Johnny. That's why it's important to enjoy what you do. May I do? <laughs> Champagne lives in the Fisherman's All village right. behind the Creole Quarter. Now, you ain't Frank. You should have no trouble reaching her. All right. Let's go find a lady called Champagne. What's an heavy episode so far? I don't hate it. May we fast travel there, please, to the Creole Quarter? Seemingly, we may not. Right, Lucy's help. Let's pin that evidence. Meeting the sheriff. What's a, pr what a prick? Sheriff Grub. You can't change clothes here. Well, it's my, my uh, bollocks, my clothes are in the blimmin' water. <laughs> we do have fun. Oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is ah. plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. Mm. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? <laughs> or was it because you were injecting cocaine? Fucking hell. Ah, that's why we couldn't fast travel. We needed to switch to Sherlock Holmes. Well, that was interesting. Did you? Why did you only used to roll up one sleeve? Ouch! So the fisherman's village should be back here. My guess is behind the Creole Quarter. All right. Well, let's just. Run around until we find a fishing village, I suppose. A pig! Hello, pig! Hello, pig! Yeah, buddy! Have a little rest. Oh, I love him. Is this familiar to you? I think I can be of help. Yes! People have said that Champagne lives in the fisherman's quarter in a hut on a boat. She owns two dogs. Thank you! Which way are we supposed to be going? Abelard Brothers Flour Mill. Oh, this looks fisherman-y. Yes! Right, a boat with two dogs on it. Shouldn't be that hard to find. 
Oh, this looks like a boat. And those are a couple of dogs. One of them just collapsed. Hello. Yes, hello. Tocqueville, Lafayette. Hush now. No offense here. Them two don't take kindly to gents. Especially foreigners. She's quick. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe. Maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. Mm. What do you know of it? Sure. I hear everything. Uh -huh. This time I tell you for free. Okay. Next time you pay. Sounds fair. Thank you. May have been one, two weeks ago. Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. That's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you know what. Thank you for the offer and the help. Alrighty. So, let us see. La la la, Lucy's help, banking house. Where's the list of philanthropists? So, French Quarter. E. Arneson. it be that one, right? Yeah, okay. I think we can solve who is the jewel seller A. Plaque with philanthropists. Oops. Oh, what? No. Plaque with philanthropists. Um. Opal trader. And the bank holds an auction, I guess. No. The banking house of E.W. Gray. It's got to be that. Most likely, Mr. E. Arneson. Most likely, the jewel seller who stands behind the A in the telegram from the Edelweiss Institute is E. Arneson from the French Quarter. Well, let's go fuck him up. Right, pin that. A for Arneson. All right, how do we then find him? I feel much better in this suit, even if it is not mine. Well, that last one wasn't yours either, so... Okie dokie. Well, let's go to the French Quarter. Wait a minute. Creole Quarter, Chinatown. Well, where's the French Quarter? Let's ask people, I suppose. Hello! May I ask you something? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Oh my god, everyone's so, so helpful here. Passersby suggests using a cab near the Harbour Master building to travel to the French Quarter. In London, everyone's just like, Don't know, mate. Oh, I don't know about that. You should ask someone else. Still haven't got over that. Absolutely, he's absolutely zipping through New Orleans, though. Right, a cab. This looks cab like. Excuse me, horse. I wish to engage the services of... of... What? Could you help me? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. Okay. I won't be angry with you. I just need to, need to catch a cave. Is perhaps this office? Is this a cab? This? No, this is an... A news stand. Ah. Ah, here we go. Here's a cabbie. Hello, my good man. Depart this location. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish finish everything you wanted to do here. Well, unless we're setting Watson up for a little lover's tryst, I think we can depart this location. Got a spot in mind? Yes. French Quarter, and get us there fast. <clears throat> Complete chapter four? What? Blimey. Well, then. Oh, the French Quarter. Looks lovely. Ooh, indeed. La la. No, Watson. The opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I, I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and 
some of my lowest moments. Curious. Salut! I can't tell if this man is thrilled or dismayed at the um, uh, the wagon he's got there. I guess we just need to... Well, let's just explore. It is lovely here, though, isn't it? I mean, the, the fences are a little bit unfriendly. Hello, my good sir. Oh, can't talk to you. Where are we supposed to go? Resides in the French Quarter. That's what that guy sounded like. <sighs> Aha, a man. Yes, it only let me have them. What? Say that again? <laughs> I would have loved to be in the booth for this. Okay, uh, we're rolling now. If you could just give us some sort of... Um, just some very normal sort of indistinct background chatter. Yeah, yeah, that's... Okay. Do you want to do that again, maybe? I can't believe it. I have that. Oh, you know. Okay. Um, I tell you what. Let, let's take lunch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can't. I can't. Buffaflaflo. Hmm. Aha. Lord help me. Excuse me, Miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Because her brother's missing. Something happened to Davy. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's, he's pure. And kind. Fear not, we will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. I think he's been trafficked away. Mmm. The... The horror at the door. Fuck! I wasn't expecting that title. Oh! Arneson's Mansion. Okie dokie then. Hmm. No way in. Quite. And these would be the stables. I wonder if I can pick a lot. Come on, that looks eminently pickable. Oiled, traces of mud, often used. I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Oh, for fuck's sake. Along with all our clothes, books, tea. Not so much for picking our way in. Bogged down here for a long time. Size nine. Okay. Not sure what that gave us, really, but Oh, 
Oh! Strong. Locked from the inside. Okay. Yep. Place is locked up pretty tight. Oh, hello. Heavy. Covered in dust. Heavy and covered in dust. Heavy and covered in dust. Hmm. These aren't people smuggling crates now, are they? We could just ram... We could get a horse to ram the door. Would that work? <laughs> okay. Yeah. What? What? Say bomb. Hmm. That's Arneson's estate. Uh, so this is a different estate. Please, Lord, protect my brother. But her key wasn't in his usual place, so she was unable to enter. It's got to be somewhere. Unless it hasn't got to be somewhere. spot that before. Hello! Broken stems, chipped edge. Oh! What's up, the key? Yes! We'll be taking This must that. be the key to the stables. Tremendous! Good. Okay. I thought that was a more complicated answer, but no, it was just find the key. Good news. Okay. Oh, that's a dead horse! Dead or dying? Dying. Our animal has been suffering for days. It's dehydrated, Holmes. Without water, it will die. Okay. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. Are we going to help the horse, or...? What's this? Cap. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. Ha ha ha. Okay. I mean, carrot, carrot pepper is delicious. Why aren't we taking that with us? So quiet. Yet I doubt there was peace around here. No, indeed. This is looking not great. I'd like to help the horse if I can, but it seems Holmes has other business to attend. Ah. Ah. We're in. Oh, this is a grand old playground, isn't it? Bucket of water, come on. This might be yes, fucking yes. Water the horse. Yes. At least that's one life saved. Hooray! Come on, mate. Have a little. Come on. Drinky drink. Well, they say you can lead a horse to water, but this one really ought to. Oh, thank God. Cool. Great. Good. Nice. You're welcome, horse. Trust me. Previous seasons of this show, it's not gone that well for you. Your kind, anyway. Right. Okay. Horse saved. Mansion. Big. Hello, lady. You did it. You're inside? Have you seen Davy? Not yet. Not yet, miss. But we are on it. Please, look for my little brother. Shall do. Should we just barge straight into the house? Yes. Let's do it. Hmm. No way in. I mean, no. Let's not do it. Okay. Davy! This house is very nice, but also, it's, there's no denying, this is quite spooky. Now, this is the statue we saw earlier. 
investigation scene found. Tremendous. Okay, there's stuff up here, is there? There's blood here. Yeah. Rather, it looks like there was shitloads. Has it been cleaned up, or...? Ah! Do you smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. Uh, I know. Be prepared for anything. Something bad happened here. Size 10. Mud with peat dried up. Okay. Size 10. Trail in dust, blood droplets. A few drops of blood, but not from a mortal wound. Mr. Arneson, I'm happy to know that you like the work carried out in your study room. It was a challenge and the most difficult job I've done. The lock was handmade to create the mechanism in accordance with your requirements. I added a magnetic bezel that must be activated to open the lock. As requested, it is hard to see the keyhole if you don't know where to look. Tell your friends about me. Thank you. Good one, locksmith. Ah, uh, did he kill the locksmith to maintain secrecy? Door with a horse symbol. Okay. What have we got here? The candle was burning when it fell. Right. <laughs> wax. A trail of wax leads to the door. Okay. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. Barefoot, no less. Okay. There's a door with a horse symbol on it. The door is barricaded and won't budge. Someone inside is sobbing and breathing erratically. The person with the candle left a trail of wax drops between the room and the horse on the door. The room with the horse on the door, rather, and the parlour. It appeared they exited their room to investigate the noises, then dropped the candle when they reached the parlour. Whoever they were, they had quite small feet. Interesting. We should pin the locksmith evidence. What happened to Davy? Well, let's find that out, shall we? Call a locksmith. Circular scratch marks and wax drops. Okay. I can't hear anyone sobbing on the other side of this door. Ah, there's a body. Got, got it. Okay, understood. Something was burned. I've intercepted a strange telegram sent to Ashmat. It is utterly cryptic, and I cannot make head nor tails of it. The mailman confirmed the telegram was definitely for Ashmat, so he must know what it means. The rest of the note is unreadable. Okay. Burnt papers. Now completely unreadable. Aha! The murder weapon, I presume. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. Yes. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. Okay. Meanwhile... Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. His corneas are already clouded. I see. Does that mean he's been dead for a while? The hand can bend freely. Oh. Rigor mortis has passed. Yeah, this is the weird thing. Rigor mortis is only temporary, and a lot of people, I think, don't think about that or don't realise it. Also, it starts... I forget whether it starts in the head and proceeds to the toes or whether it starts in the toes and proceeds to the head, but then it leaves the same way. Curious... Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. That would explain why uh, no one's been looking after the haunts. What else have we got?
I mean, I wasn't really interested in his corneas so much as, like, the big wound on the side of his head. His corneas are already clouded. But... What are we missing? What are we missing from this? Can be a bit fiddly, this bit, sometimes. Come on. What's fucking... What am I missing? Like, we've not... Not said anything about his hand, which is full of blood. And we've seen the straw. His boots are here. Was that no? That was nothing. Oh, oh, where is it? Ah, oh, so small sometimes. Ah, uh, f uh -huh. f f oh, oh, there's a big wound a in deep his chest. Stab reached the man's heart. <laughs> Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. <laughs> Can't believe I missed this it. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object <laughs> piercing his heart. You are mostly right, but I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. <gasps> I'm sorry, I cannot believe I missed the fight. He's been stabbed in the fucking heart. Okay. What have we got? Click. Currently, that's what we reckon it is. An axe? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, would an axe reach his heart? Maybe not. What have we got over here? What's this? What's this noise? Blah, blah. I mean, that looks more likely. Where are all of these? Oh. Get out the fucking way. No, that doesn't look likely. Yeah, it's the small boy. Drop a, drop a th the candle. What else have we got here? Yeah, that seems likely because the candle was dropped. No, it's no, it isn't. No, that's the candle there, and then the murder weapon candle is there. So, I reckon you did have a candle, but also I'm conscious of the fact that we haven't got all of the evidence for each of these. There's. Most of them are missing one scenario, but two of them, we've, we're missing two entire ones. Oh, we're outside again. Okay. What else can we glean? What's this? There's a lot of stuff to collect here. Size 10. The heels are sinking into the ground. Sinking into the ground. Was he carrying something? Size 10, the owner's footprints were shallow. Well, well, yes. Look here, Doctor. Two sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Or someone Precisely. heavy. Precisely. I'll make a detective with you yet, Watson. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This statue. Hmm. Ping. Attempt to go back indoors. Mansion crime scene. I think Davy's been abducted by whoever it was in the size 10 boots. That is what I think. Let's have another bang on the in interior, because I reckon there's got to be stuff we've missed. What's this all about? This one. Yeah, 
that seems more likely to me, but... Oh, look! We know who it is now. There simply must be more evidence that we're lacking. What's this? Ooh, a painting. Interesting. Mr. Arneson with his prey. Oh, look at that. Okie dokie. There's an entire upstairs. Ooh, look, there's more stuff. Oh, and a corpse. Great fun. Why does it look so familiar? Because that's the place you saw in a nightmare, I assume. There. My good homes. T for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. Hmm. A used kitchen towel. A bum print. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Our oh, dead man had been having tea here. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. Possibly with... This deceased lady who has died by the same instrument. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. Fucking hell. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. Cheerful. What else have we got? Oh, there it is. Extremely sharp and deadly. Mm. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. Hmm. And cruelty. And cruelty, yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, that seems more likely. It's that one. It's got to be that one because of her bloodied nails. Now, what about this bit? What is this? Heavens. So many possibilities. Yes, I think she was having tea. But then. I've definitely not got all of this right. Also, hang on. Let's unpin that evidence because it's getting in the way. What else could this be? No. It's that. I'm pretty certain that's what we've got there. And that there. But then who's this? Should we validate? I kind of... We're missing one piece of information from one of these scenarios, aren't we? Which one is it? Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Or this one. Which fucking one is it? Ah, this one. Okay. There must be something we've not seen. seen all this stuff. Let's have a bang on it. Why not? Let's see. No, oh, three of them are wrong. Oh, it's not a hatchet. It's a butcher's knife. that. 
Six possibilities with that one. Fucking hell. No, I'm still wrong with those three. Hmm. Probably should stop just taking swings at it, hey? Well, okay, so there's a new thing we need to find here. Because it's not either of these. This one's wrong. I think anyone was pissed. Yeah, it's, okay, that seems more likely. This one seems fine. This little doozy. We simply need more evidence. Unless. Let's have one more cheeky go on the validate. No, still wrong. <laughs> okay, fine. Hmm. Well, there must be more evidence. Should we have a look upstairs? Got to gather the data. You know this, Johnny, and yet you're just trying to brute force it, and that's not what we do. What I wouldn't give for a nice bath right now, Holmes. Well, not right now there, Watson. Whoopsie. You fucking weirdo. Oh, what we got? Oh, no, that's all just the stuff downstairs. Okay, what's up here? Clonk. A portrait. A dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson. Hmm. He liked cigars, didn't he? My dear friend, the boy's a genius. Despite seeing a fraction of my formula, he recreated it and solved it. It is a function that young students have serious trouble with. Your Davy is a prodigy. What surprises me even more is that when I ask him any question, the boy writes answers that are your direct quotes or mine. His memory is impeccable. I know you took the boy under your wing to take care of him, but I'm asking you to let me hold some lessons with him. I truly believe that with your help, this boy can shine and change the world. Lakofka. Interesting. A letter from Lakofka. A dull book about local geology. Even I'd struggle. <laughs> okay. Not sure what that gives us, per se. But apparently it's given us something. And there's some fairly ominous music. What I wouldn't give for a bath right now. Heavens. It's a bearskin rug, isn't it? Got a cool wild boar statue. I wouldn't mind one of those. Alright, what have we got here? Raccoon. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. Yes, yes. Okay. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. Well, well. We're definitely on to something, aren't we? Arneson and Davy. Arneson and Davy. 1881. Okay. Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son than a servant. I can see why his sister's so, so worried now. Because he was being treated well, seemingly. What have we got in here, then? Another letter. Dear Errol, I do want you to find what you are looking for, but I can't deny that my misgivings are growing with each passing day. I fear the worst. I'm worried about you, what you are doing. My heart stops when I think about where you look for your answers. I would have given them to you. I would have given anything so you might stop disappearing. Errol, please, you must stop. We have something beautiful together. Isn't that enough? I hope to hear from you soon. I love you. Okay. And that's apparently given us more stuff here? I am increasingly stumped. Right. Uh. Note the blade, Watson. Oh! A curved dagger. Probably of Persian or Indian origin. Well, then. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. Not a butcher's knife at all. Here we go, then. We've got all the possibles. 
great. All the possibles? All the possibilities. <laughs> All of the possibles. I have them now. Okay. Right. Next. There it is. That's what we want. And then this one. Uh, did he have the candle or not? I believe he did. Let's try it. Fuck! Well, he didn't have the candle. Slapdash, Johnny. There we go. An intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Mm. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea. The workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. Right. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden. Oh. Okay. Now we... According to that thing, we should have enough to answer what happened to Davy. Mansion crime scene. I mean, isn't he just... Alone. Okay. Isn't he just in this room? Which was the door with the someone crying behind it? This, this way. Davy. No, it's no. That's outside, isn't it? Okay. Well, there's more to gather in the garden. I gather. Ha <laughs> ha. What happened to Davy? We should be able to. Photo of Arneson with with our boy. Mansion crime scene. Door with a horse symbol. She's here. Ah! The horrors of the Arneson mansion. Hey! Davy retreated and barricaded himself in. Eula's brother Davy is behind the door with the horse symbol. Right, well, let's go talk to him. See if we can encourage him to get out and get him back to his sister because, let's face it, he don't want to be here anymore. Davy, please open the door. After all this, Holmes, I doubt the young man would open the door to a stranger. But I'm Sherlock Holmes. Davy, please open the door. Oh, that's all of this, Holmes. I blah, blah, blah. Let's go get his sister. Of course, let's go get his sister. What was I thinking? Gosh. The plot truly has thickened. I think we'll go get his sister. Who is not there. Bucker. I was going to say, we'll go get his sister and then coax him out. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be an option. What is that? Is that a carrot? Weird. Um... Well, I think we might have to pick up this investigation next week. It's riveting, but it also seems rather large. Ooh, these shelf fungi. These are very old shelf fungi. They look like an absolutely massive turkey tail. I don't think turkey tail can get that big. But, uh, yeah, big old mushrooms. Uh, yeah, we'll continue poking around this house of horrors uh, next week. Goodness me, what an episode. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Um, I do like this game. It is good, good fun. Um, it was nice piecing that together, even though I feel a bit silly again for trying to brute force some of the puzzles. That's that's on me. Um, I should just be more diligent and look for all of the evidence, shouldn't I? Um, if you're looking for more evidence of me and my work, 
brilliant segue. Uh, there's loads of stuff for you to watch on the channel, including previous series of Preston Chiodini and streams and all sorts of good stuff. Um, I will be back very soon. Uh, in the meantime, I do have a Patreon. Um, it's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in the description of this video if you are able and willing to support me directly through there. It really does make a difference. But really, thank you so much for being here and uh, and watching and, and having a nice time. Oh, I hope you had a nice time anyway. Uh, I will catch you next time. I'll stop babbling now. So goodbye. Thanks again. And have a lovely day.